uh, Panoptic, and by pure luck, last year, I won the uh, optics at Stellafane, and I got a 41 millimeter Panoptic. I took that as an omen, but it, it's unbelievable. It's like, you look through this, and it's perfectly matched, this scope, according to Scott, you couldn't find a lens more perfectly matched. You look through, and unlike most telescopes, you see the edges a little fuzzy and the stars. You look through this, and it doesn't give you the appearance like you're looking through a telescope. It looks like you're looking out a, a window because all the stars are pinpoint. As you, as you drift it, uh, it, let's say on a globular cluster, when you're inside a cluster, you can, it looks like you're looking through a window, and the stars just come right from edge to edge, perfectly focused. It's, uh, it's really quite a sight. I'm happy with it. You said 41 is the longest focal length yes. piece you can use. Right. What happens if you go beyond? You just well, you'll just you won't use the entire. Yeah, you lose light. Right. That's the and that's a thirty millimeter. I'm sorry, thirty arc minute field of view. Now, what happens when you use a, a seven millimeter eyepiece or something like that? Really know. nice. I uh, <laughs> a, uh, I use an, a Nagler nine, for example, gives me six hundred power, and that's how I saw the uh, uh, the Einstein's cross. And I've gone up to a thousand, a four point eight mil, four point eight Nagler gives me a uh, thousand twenty. Uh, but at that point, the stars are really, you know, starting to look fuzzy. But I'm, I'm happy going up to six and seven hundred and no plus. <laughs> By the way, at that power with this scope, you, you know, they're about, they're about just as an experiment to see how well the computer was working. One night, I, I, I did an experiment to see how fast I could observe. So I went from Cygnus and went to the horizon found 54 um, uh, planetaries and ev uh, in about an hour and 20 minutes, and every one of them had character. Before, they always used to be like one in New Hampshire, it's a 32 as well, They're just kind of fuzzy spots, right? With this one, every one had detail. It's unbelievable. At 700 power, every planetary now is uh, interesting. The, uh, another good example is the Stephens Quintet. Uh, not only do you see the five galaxies, but you can see the connector band between them that's interacting. That's all visual. Could you just show the last couple of pictures of the finished telescope you, you went through so fast? Well, you know, I think you've got a 700 power telescope at Ben. Is, is it any? Is it <laughs> that's what it says on the box. Yeah. <laughs> Does it have a frown buffer lens? Seventy-nine, <laughs> ninety-five. I'll leave that one up. Okay. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Visitors, welcome. We'll take about eight, eight or ten. Chairs looking for a new Reassemble yeah. for our third speaker. So right. uh,